Hi guys, welcome to another studio vlog. So today we are actually, well I'm actually prepping for August releases. I su I'm supposed to have been, been done this, but um, today's like one of those kind of like moody days that I'm in where I just don't want to get out of bed and I don't want to do anything. It took me forever to just even print and cut the stickers for me to show you guys. And if you hear the AC running, I'm so sorry, it's so hot in LA, like it's ridiculously hot like we're like a full-blown summer or something already we feel like i live in the desert but anywho um so today you're just gonna see me prepping for august releases so the thing that i do and i have all the stickers right here is that i cut every single sheet that i put available for um the listings so august i hope by now you would have seen it I, we i did go with like this um like how do you say it there is a name for it there's a name for this pattern but it's like a plaid and like a multicolor stone background that's how i'm gonna call it and um i'm in love with it i this is something that i needed i feel like may was very bright march was very bright uh i loved april april was my favorite one that i've ever created so i might just bring that back next year for all i know but um i thought June, I love June. June is so beautiful, but it's like very bright. And, and then July is very festive. Like, you know, it's like 4th of July oriented. So I'm like, you know what, for August, I kind of want something muted. So I, that's why I went with this pattern. So um, at the time I was like, I need something muted. I need, I don't need something so in my face, but you know, something's still colorful because it's still like kind of summer. Even though like, that's like kind of the month where you start transitioning from like summer to fall because then it's August, September. So that's how I coordinate stuff in my head. I don't know. So what's it called? I cut all the stickers. So I cut all the washi strips that I offer. So I have small washi. I have the stone pattern and I called this, yeah, August stone. And then uh, August checks because I didn't want to call it plaid because I just don't like the name plaid. So I call it checks. And then because it's for checkered pattern. So then I cut another one because I cut like, um, four washies per sheet the weekly check-in oh it's my favorite you guys it's my freaking fave and it also gave me a chance to do orange like i'm loving orange sinking buns it's funny because i don't know if you guys noticed but sinking buns is kind of mainly like green or blue in some of my sheets and the only reason why is because i take the pattern out of the washi so if my washi has color in it i pull out all those colors and usually when i see green in the pattern i think of money and then i'm like oh that's for my sinking fun so <laughs> fun fact and then the same for a dead tracker if the color has any pink or red i pull that out for my dead tracker because i'm thinking dead is bad dead is red and i need that to show like a certain color but this color right here oh it's so beautiful it's like my favorite like I'm, I'm loving it and then savings I'm thinking oh that's a cushion so that's blue we're in the blue we're good and then transaction log uh I just do whatever color is left over <laughs> transaction log always gives like the leftover color and then I transition that into these like uh so I have variable income I have paycheck two and I do paycheck one and paycheck two to show you guys because um it's just easier it's the most popular one so paycheck one and paycheck two are there so paycheck one and then august budget so i do have that now the only thing that i'm missing to cut is the calendar but i think that's because i already have like spares because when i set up my sticker planner up i already had august ready like a month ago i'm gonna be honest august was already made a whole month ago so i had already printed and cut so uh the testing of my stickers happens way way in advance so i test them out and if i like it i like it and we um get it going so if you guys haven't seen my release video here's like a sneak peek of what it is and i did this budget layout different i did it for like how i would set up my shop budget so in case you were interested that's what i do so um today that's what i'm doing i'm prepping so I'm out of that kind of like didn't want to do anything kind of mood but uh now that I'm I cut everything and I can show you guys I'm gonna go ahead and now film even though like I'm not in such a chipper mood so I just gotta like 
pump myself up so like I don't see like oh here are my new releases because like come on who's not going to be excited for that if I'm like not excited for them but it's just that you know it's a mood I'm in I don't know I didn't feel like getting up today I didn't feel like I didn't feel like putting on clothes I didn't feel like doing anything like putting my hair in a bun that was it that's that's all the that's all I wanted to do um but I have so much to film so I gotta film my new releases and I gotta do uh, the photos and the listing. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. And then I'm gonna show you guys later how the new releases go, which is gonna be probably tomorrow. And then I'm just gonna show you the progress of like how many orders come in and how I start prepping. I don't pre print anything just because I'm like, I'm not feeling it. And the thing about this is that uh, I'm gonna cut the releases short. Like on June 30th, I'm cutting. The deadline because I will give myself a week the first week of July to get all orders out and then surgery time and it's like boom we're going to printables so I gotta like figure out what I'm gonna say on camera so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and film and then tomorrow I'm gonna show you the progress of everything because it's basically right now it's gonna be like pure administration work it's gonna be me like um, taking pictures and me filming editing and getting everything up and then I also got up um, edit and upload the vlog before this one that you guys already saw so all right here's to getting to work and honestly you guys i just wanted to show you this is the most beautiful planner ever i'm so happy i opened it on camera because i moved in and this is my new everyday uh, workhorse for my shop for my youtube for everything so uh if you want to see a more in-depth picture i do follow me on erica life vlogs not and erica lifestyle because that's where i put all my planner stuff but i'm so happy and it freaking matches the pink in the thing matches this so i'm super excited with everything right now i finally got myself out of that blah kind of mood so yes let me get straight into work and then i'll show you the results of everything probably tomorrow all right here is to me working 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 all right i'm so hilarious this is why i like doing these prepping days before launch launching anything new you guys, I literally completely forgot that I offered the add-ons. So I literally have to create them right now. So I just did the add-on. Oh my god. And then I also forgot that um, now I'm offering like matching um, expense, expense trackers with them. So I literally had to create some right now. My lights are on because my machine is cutting some of them. And I'm just like, how did I freaking forget now they look pretty light on camera which is fine uh, I, I did something different I went and just took out all the colors that were in the um, graphic that I used and I created um, all of them as Bill do um, stickers and I created them all as um, expense trackers except for the orange just because I already sell orange and I didn't want to make another orange I did like a light peach or something if you want to call it but anywho I created a ton this time I don't know why and then my sticker paper is curling up for some strange reason I don't know if it got thinner or something but anywho I created a bunch this is by far my favorite one it's like a a blushy mauve brown I don't know it's like my favorite and then of course I love the color yellow gold or whatever and then this one kind of reminds me of when I did the fall version back in 2019 I took those down too and then the green I feel like I have so many versions of green to be honest but I love them all now this looks gray and it's like a more of a peachy pink gray so I'm gonna call it stone but it does look gray but it's not it's a different type of gray I know look at me over here being like it's not gray but it is kind of in the family gray this one reminds me of ocean blue but it's not at least I don't think it is and then um, this is the peachy one instead of the orange that I created and then I have I remade the the, the mob because I thought I had I didn't do it but I did Anyhow. but here we go this is what I wanted to show you guys I went ahead and it pulled out all the colors because before I would only have four colors and then do double the pattern and now I did like all of them as one now I think for this one I'm gonna go ahead and just offer this as just by itself because I love the bill do that I might just make this as its own sheet so I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create it as its own sheet but I think I might need more colors to add to it but anyway that's how that looks and then I created the date dots as a dark blue pretty happy about that one so now I have to put those on my 
<laughs> on my binder, I mean, I'm on, binder, I'm on my planner so I can test it out to make sure they fit. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm so hilarious. Okay, I'm going to do this because date dogs take forever. And oh my god. Oh my god, the end of August is going to be horrible. Like, what is that? Don't have expenses or a bill to these. Like, how are you gonna do that? I, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Wow. Um, they put a date dot in there. Just. Oh my gosh. You got bills those days. Try not to. <laughs> try not to. Just try not to. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm actually missing one asterisk. Wow, I'm actually short an asterisk. What? I'm short an asterisk. How many days does this month have? Oh my god. Well, that's just... Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice one to be on the other one. There's no way I can add another asterisk, so that's gonna be like... In it's in itself. All right, well, yeah, there's no way I can't add an asterisk for this one. There's no room. There's there's just no room. All right, for what it's worth, I'm sorry, you guys. It just looks weird without it. Maybe I should just take off the ones from the beginning week then. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're just gonna... Okay, here's the moment of truth. I don't know if I want to um, offer the add-on this this month because the asterisks don't match up. I'm gonna offer it, but you guys just will know in advance that you know it don't. It, there's not enough asterisks to cover it. Okay, there's just not. <laughs> Who built August? <laughs> Happy birthday! If you're an August baby, though. All right. So my paydays have changed till Thursday. You know what? I don't even know anymore. I'm just going to put down some stickers. I don't even know when I'm getting paid. I don't know if that far advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and put them here. I ain't got no bills. I just realized I ain't got that many bills. Okay, let me see. Let me think. All right. I got like one sticker left. I don't think I have any other bills that I can actually write down. Oh, my gas. No, my gas bill is down. Okay, yeah. So that's it. So sure. that is how it's looking like. Sorry, the light is on, so it changes the whole aspect. And then uh, I do have all of these expense trackers, so that's how that's going to work. All right, now I get to film because I'm now fully prepared. So today has been the worst day ever. Um, I don't even know how to put it. I was editing the vlog that was supposed to or did, did go up, I think you're, you you would have watched it by now, on Sunday the 14th. I was editing it, and I don't know where my computer had, like, some type of glitch, and just crashed. And then I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's probably, it's, it's not handling the amount of clips that I added to um, my computer. So I was like, you know what, let me exit out of editing my vlog and then um, I'll just go work on some stickers. So then I go on to Silhouette and Silhouette doesn't want to open. I'm like, I'm like, you know what, it's probably the computer that's just, let me turn it off and turn it back on. Uh, I do that and then I go back into iMovie and the vlog is working, I edit it and I upload it, great upload that's the end of that um then i go back into silhouette and it won't open it just won't open so then i'm just like okay let me trash it uninstall it put it back on didn't work uninstalled it trashed it put it back on didn't work so then i'm like what the hell so then i just uninstalled it completely turned off my computer and turned it back on and then I went to install it and it still would not open 
So I go on to the Silhouette website and it says if you have a Mac, you have to do this. You have to erase some type of code that is within the file. And it showed me step by step by step. Cool. And then it says now you should be able to open Silhouette. I open it. And to my surprise, it had a, it was, it did open, but it opened into the normal um, Silhouette Studio. Mind you, I have business because I have to run multiple machines. If you don't have the business software, you cannot run multiple machines. So I was just like, I'm like, why is it not in my business edition? So then I'm like, I'm like, please tell me it wasn't a one-time purchase because then that means I have to spend like a lot, like a hundred bucks to get the business edition. So then I go onto my account and it says, no, I have two more, two more times to download the business edition to install to like a computer or something. So I'm just like, okay, great. So I installed, the, I upgrade my silhouette to the business edition. And then when I go to open my um files all my files are corrupted all of them this is at 2 a.m so i go on instagram I'm like you know what today's canceled f this day i'm so fucking over it and i was just like i'm too stressed to even care i'm like maybe it's just something like you know because i i had opened one i had op no let me back up when i opened silhouette the business edition i opened up one file which was a July washi thing that I wanted to print for a customer's order that I really had to get out. I couldn't do any of that. So it opened up and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just go to sleep. And then today in the morning, I can go and finish everything off. Well, I go into Silhouette today in the morning and all of my files were corrupted. Anything that, ever, all of my August kits were corrupted. Everything was corrupted. Some of um, the, all the calendars, June, July, were all corrupted. All the new releases that I had were corrupted. Every time I try to open that file, my computer would crash and close Silhouette. So I'm just like, you're fucking kidding me. I have to go ahead and now recreate all these files i was just like you know what it's fine it's part of my job to always create new um new kits for the month so i'm like i what i always do is that i just always copy paste the month prior and put it into a new document and just like you know change the um the graphics and the colors um but since june and july were corrupted i'm like you're cutting you're kidding me i don't even know luckily i still had may on my computer so I'm just like, oh, please tell me this one is not corrupted. So I open it up and May is not corrupted. I don't know if because it was so far back that it had been saved since probably March that, you know, it didn't really matter. So I was just like, cool, I get to use May as my template. Um, then I come to find out that some of my small sheets, um, like um, my no spends, uh, they were corrupted. My extra debt payment were corrupted. Um, it's just a, a lot of the little things were corrupted. The expense trackers were corrupted. So it is now 6 p.m. And I think I finally deleted all the corrupted files. And I have good files now on my silhouette. But it has taken me forever i've been working on recreating my sticker templates the whole saturday the entire saturday and all i wanted to do was work on one two three three at uh, three three shopify orders that's it that's all i wanted to do and this is why and i cannot emphasize as a shop owner half processing times that will help you get through stuff like this like software malfunctions machine malfunctions anything that you can think of put it as a processing time because if i had my processing time as one week i would have been fucked because i would have had to get the orders out today and the post office on saturdays closes early so there was no way i could like ship out anything or have any of my orders ready and imagine if i had actually released my stickers 
My stickers were supposed to be released today. And the only reason why I found out that Silhouette was not working was because I had to go in and work on the listings. And it was like midnight. It was midnight. And I was like, oh, I forgot to, you know, work on my listings. And my video is going up tomorrow at 8 a.m. I'm like, I'm going to be dead asleep. Like, if you guys don't know, my videos go up at 8 a.m. I'm knocked out. There is no way I'm awake at that time. They go live because that's the time I schedule them. All my videos are pre-scheduled like a whole week in advance so i just have it at 8 a.m just because um it's easier for me like that i'm not missing so much in case something happens in the comment section or anything when i wake up i it hasn't been so much time in between so i'm just like okay i was just like let me work on my listings and then i literally like silhouette was just not working so i'm thinking the imovie crashing and the silhouette program crashing had to do with the correlation or something. Um, so I'm not sure if it's my Mac. Um, I don't even know why or how because this is like a brand new fucking thing. Sorry if I'm cursing, it's just how I feel. Uh, yeah, it's brand new. And we got the most expensive one because Bay was like, look, if you get the cheaper version, the amount of work that you do on your computer is not going to last. Like it, you're, it won't be able to take on the, the task that you do on your computer because you like you edit a lot, you create a lot of stickers, and you run multiple tasks. So I was like, okay, that's that's why we got it. And now that this is happening, I'm just like, what in the world? And the worst part is, be, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm like, I don't even know how to back this shit up. I don't have like a USB drive. I don't have a, like a external memory thing that I can back it up. So now I got to really go into and do my research and find a backup drive so I can back up all of my shiz. So like that, when this happens, I don't have to worry about it again. The only thing I would have to worry about is buying the business license for Silhouette because, you know, you can only install business edition so many times so um to say that today has been the worst day of a shop owner is just it's insane like i have a headache that runs from here to here and it's just stress so um i don't even know i don't even know you guys will you will see this like a whole week later but wow i've and it's funny because this has happened to me, so I know the feeling. Um, when I was in my old apartment, my MacBook crashed and it died. Um, it's just because it was old. It was a 2013 MacBook Pro and it died on me. And we were in, what, 2019? It, it was time. Um, it had glitches and everything. I even put it on Instagram and then um, I was just like, when I realized that and I opened my MacBook, I transferred files. I emailed the files to myself. So I did have that already in my email account in case I lost anything, in case my library didn't back up. So when this happened again, I was just like, oh, I don't have to worry about it because, you know, I have emails with some of the, um, my, like my original creations and, um, my library's up to date. Like I have, if you ever go on Silhouette and there's settings, there's always like a snapshot of your library. It says you want to revert to your snapshot before this date. So I did it for um, June 11th or June 12th. And I was like, oh, I'm fine. The problem is that I guess that the stickers were so recently saved that I don't know if it it just didn't back up into their library system for silhouette or whatnot um but all the new recent stickers that i came out with were corrupted all my old ones all the ones that had not been tweaked in the minute they were perfectly fine nothing went wrong with them but the ones that i had recently had like some changes some minor shifts or color changing or size changing those were completely corrupted it says your files are corrupted and then it was switched to be like these files are not supported and i try to do all my research on how to fix it there is no freaking way you lose everything so i'm exhausted and um i don't even know i don't even know i my i have such a huge headache that um for this part of the vlog, it's just going to be me 
telling you guys what happened and I'll see you in the next day because I cannot, I cannot deal with it. <sighs> it is currently 1044, same day. Um, I'm messing with the settings and as you can see, it's not going so well. Some of them are deep cuts, got like a bunch of like pieces and stuff. So I've been tweaking the cut settings. I was able to print these and these are kiss cut so I'm pretty happy about that. So if you ever see me like in my video and I'm doing this it's because I'm just making sure that the kit is kiss cut so um, I can just put it all in a pile and I always check the bottom um, sticker, the last sticker that was cut because that's the blade telling me you know if it's good or not. So. I remade all of my sticker kits. I remade the July ones and I just tested it out. Um, this is, there, it's kiss cut. So um, I changed my cut settings like, I wanna say four times. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like my machines are going slower, but for some strange reason, um, since I re-downloaded it, Silhouette, um, it had to re-register my machines. So I don't know if my machines are like working like brand new or whatnot. They're registering everything. I'm not having any issues with them. So I'm pretty happy about that except for the bottom one. And But that's because it's lacking light. So I'm just still waiting on my lights to come because I will put um, lights underneath the little shelving unit so it can just be bright. Because these machines are blind if you guys don't know they're blind. Um, so yeah. I lost a lot of stickers. There's a couple of these or like sheets of these in the trash bin. It costs me product because it's premium matte paper. Premium matte paper is very expensive. Um, so it's never a fun day when you are um, testing stickers for the cut settings because you know you just know it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a waste and there's nothing you can do and there's no way I'm gonna use these individually myself. I just I'm not gonna do that. Anywho, 1047, I feel like the issue has been now solved, however, it feels like when I first started my shop where I'm kind of still weary of how the machines are cutting, so it feels like I have to like get really comfortable with my shop again, like with my machines and stuff, and with my program because I don't trust my program. Um, so tomorrow I will go to, I think it's Best Buy, and I'm going to go get like an external hard drive so I can back up my entire computer. Uh, j just in case now because I learned my freaking lesson for the second time. And yeah. Alright you guys, I am back. And it's not Monday or Sunday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. It is Friday. I have taken time off from vlogging because Sunday I spent it with my family I was like you know what I don't want to feel miserable I'm so tired of all my designs that I lost I'm just so over it and then Monday um I kept doing orders and I was trying to catch up and I did that all the way into Wednesday and then um today I'm gonna like you know what it's finally time I did buy my backup um, drive on Monday. I went with Bay. He was off that day. So we did go to Best Buy and got this. Um, my computer has one terabyte of um, memory. So he's like, just buy a terabyte of backup drive external hardware. I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, I am only going to, I'm going to back up my whole computer, right? But the main purpose for this is so I don't lose any of my um, sticker designs anymore because that was a pain in the behind. So that's what I'm going to do with it. So oh, I've got to get that situated. Um, I did release my stickers for August. I think they're so beautiful, you guys. Like I have them here. So these are it. These are August. I'll link the video if you guys haven't seen it yet. But this is the monthly. It looks so pretty. Um, the add-on. God, look at that build do stickers. This is, I think this is by far my favorite. And then, of course, this is the washi. I call this stone. Like, it's so gorgeous. And then this is checks. 
because it goes with the stone background oh my god i'm in love i really love that and if you guys didn't know i did go ahead and create look how tiny these are the petite size versions of everything um so i did have like the weekly add-ons or the functional add-ons how i call them the paycheck um budget stickers um the washi and expense trackers that pertain to august only just because i don't know how the petite um um customers are i don't know if they'll sell or not so i just gotta keep worry of it and then i did like i said in my previous vlog have the gray no spends um posted this is going to be under the expense tracking tab so if you guys are interested it is there and then these are the um expense trackers that um i came out with august so we i'm loving it now um let me show you guys how it looks on here i think i manage look isn't that gorgeous you guys oh my god i freaking love it so i'm really happy and excited for it um i did try out the petite stickers i do have the planner somewhere in my room and you guys this week with um, the brand Erin Condren, I know it's been very controversial with everything that went on and I just want to put my two cents and everyone that's been asking me, will I be using my planner? The answer is yes in short. Um, I love my budget planner. I have three on the way, believe it or not. I have one for my my own personal budget and system, which is this, because um, um the one that i was recently sent i'm using it for sticker um you know testing and then i have one that's for my shop because i've been doing it on a notebook and i wanted like its own like entity and its own um system and then i have an extra one just in case i feel like combining the two later on i know um so i have already um bought those are on the way i also have an erin condren seasonal surprise box that i purchased because i this month or like in may i wanted to see what the sub subscription boxes were like a lot of people are a fan of them and i usually am not so i also wanted to do that as a content video for you guys so let me know if you guys want to see that because i have like about four hauls from erin condren um, I already have one on my channel that's private just because um, I was I did review the academic planner um, and I have since gifted it to my niece because I'm not in college but I did love the layout like I love that layout so much um, but yeah um, right now she, she um the Erin Condren brand is associated with Erin and her image and if you guys don't know there was an article that came out and it was very white privilege and um, it, it was kind of insensitive to the whole movement right now um but with talking with my representative i know that she doesn't stand for this i know that the current ceo doesn't stand for it and i know like sam doesn't stand for it because every day she's posting about black lives matter she's like here fighting it her kids are out there in protest themselves so um they're very involved so i know that not all 200 plus employees are like yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of a situation or something and, and you know show that i'm white privilege i get that but no um i'm still gonna use my budget planner um it's a system that has worked for me and i just want to lay it out for you guys um but i did find a life planner that i can always share on my channel and that is the recollections one um i bought this the same day that everything went crazy on Instagram. So I did buy it. Um, I did try my stickers on it for the monthly layout. The whole month sticker does not fit, but like the, the bill dues and expense trackers do work. The only issue for me is that um, it doesn't have notes pages. So it has one back notes pages and that's it and if you're a budgeting planner person like i am i need a ton of notes pages and with the new layout that came out this year i'm just like i love it so you know you you're over here like stuck in a corner or um people are shaming you for using your planners and i'm here to say hey back off i'm not in the wrong you're not in the wrong for feeling what you feel but i think there is room to have discussions and to make sure that you know you need to stop pause and you gotta just make sure that you know 
you really um, see the actions, future actions that the company does take. I know a lot of people were saying like, it's been seven years of this and this and this. But for me reading, we had, there's a new CEO and I don't think that CEO should be blamed for all the past stuff. I think the company, you know, changes along each year. So that's my take. Um, I'm just here to have a budgeting tool that works for me. Whether you like the spiral, the brand, that is just, you know, a personal opinion, a personal choice, and that's going to be my personal choice. And it, not might be, and it might not be, like, the most popular opinion, but it is what it is. I, I remember trying to go see it by, like, the Happy Planner. You guys know about how to have a Happy Planner, but I don't like it. I don't like the disc system. I don't like it. And then a lot of people are like, well, there's this and this and this and this. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that. But there's also a bunch of planners that I just bought that have not even reached my doorstep. So it's just, it's a lot. And Bay just, please, like, you got too many planners. And I'm like, I know I do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, work with my budget planner and enjoy my budget planner. And that is it. So anywho. That is what I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to go ahead and back up my computer. And let's get right into it, because I have orders. I got orders to do, and yeah, I woke up late today. I went to sleep super late. I woke up late, so I got until 5.30 to do everything I need to do today, and I'm going to get right into it. This has been the most chattiest vlog ever, so let's go. Says it's gonna take about 10 hours to back up my computer because I have 893 with 28 gigabytes left, and I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna work on some orders. I do have a stack already ready to go. I got a couple more that I got to print and cut from my new releases. So thank you guys if you have been supporting my shop, especially through this weird week, honestly. Um, yeah, all right, let me get to it. I think I'm going to close the vlog here just because I have so much work and it is Friday. I just realized my computer does say Friday. I'm just going to close the vlog here. Um, this is going to be like the worst chattiest <laughs> video ever um there was like almost no sticker cutting involved just because i didn't want to show it i've been showing it for the past um two vlogs and i just wanted to make sure that you guys got a more glimpse of me and my <laughs> trials and tribulations i go through as a shop owner because um this week was trying this whole this whole 2020 is a disaster and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys back next week and let me know if you have any questions for me or what you like to see more of. Um, oh, before I do go, um, I know I had a question on my last previous vlog. So let me do that before I actually go because I know I always ask you guys if you have any other questions for me. And y'all be saying, yes, let me know about this. So um, my last one was, it says, where did you get your sticky notepad on your desk? So I have a couple of them. So this one is from Cloth and Paper. And then I have, oh, I'm right on it. This one right here is from Erin Condren. I have tons of these. And then I have another one that you guys can't see because I got some info in it. And it's from Arteza. And I'll leave um, their websites down below. I want to know what size mailers, specifically the small ones that you use. So I have 5x5 five five mailers and cello bags. So for those wondering, these are the 5x5 five five uh, mailers right here. This is what I use when you only order small sheets. So this is the one right here and the cello bag. These are the tiny cello bags that go in here and I believe these are six by four. But if you guys don't know, if you go to my Amazon storefront, everything's linked there. So you don't really have to ask. You just have to go to the links and I have a specific little square that says Etsy stuff or um, um, sticker shop stuff and you get everything that I have there so nothing is a mystery I've, everything's always linked and then I have one from Kate Bowser hi um it says do you just print stickers on norm on a normal printer but use sticker paper and then crickets to cut the stickers okay so um yes 
that is it. I have a Canon um, Pixma. Um, it's like kind of photo quality printer, so it just has better um, ink or distribution. And yes, it's only printed on sticker paper. It's a normal printer. You don't need a fancy printer. It's just a normal printer. It just depends how you like the ink to show up on your paper. And I do not have crickets. I have silhouettes. Um, I don't like crickets. But yes, that is it. And then I had another one that says, are international sh shipping lit? rates lower on Shopify than Etsy. I don't know that um, because you guys are the ones who pay for shipping. You guys pay for it. Um, when I go and buy the labels, um, the cost that you guys paid is already there. So um, if you're an international um, buyer for me, go ahead and check that. Um, leave your your replies down below but um we don't determine the rates um the post office does and it just relates to the package plan that you buy so if you buy a heavier package plan you do get more discounted rates but i don't know if that's the same for the customers that they get that as well and then it says can you send the link that helped you start your sticker shop so that's um shea budget she has a whole etsy series and it's actually linked in the description box below as well in my previous video so don't forget to check the description box everything that you need is there all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next one bye <laughs>